So I'm going to show you an updated way on how to get this Discord Active Developer badge without having to worry about Replit because unfortunately Replit doesn't work anymore. It got patched. So what we need to do first is we need to go to the first link in the description. And this is both for mobile and desktop devices. I'll show you how to do it for both devices. But we need to go to the first link in the description, click on new application, name it whatever you want, then click on the little checkbox and click create. Then once you do that, you want to go to bot, click add bot, click yes, do it. What I want you to do personally, just 100% for safety, I want you to create a new server and just go through, skip this question and just call it the badge bot server or literally anything. I just want you to create a server where no one else is on it so you don't have to worry about the bot going haywire and doing crazy things. So click on create and once you're in the server you need to go to the top left, click on your server settings, then scroll down and enable community, click get started. This is both important and required. Make sure you check both of these boxes, click next, click next, and I agree and understand, and click finish setup. And once you do that you now have a server that you can invite the bot to. And once you have a bot this is where we need to take a fork in the road. If you're on mobile please look at the timestamps on YouTube and just skip to the mobile section. If you're on desktop, then just continue following along with me. What we need to do is we need to go to the second link in the description. You will see Give Me Badge, which is a, a fantastic GitHub repo. And what we need to do is we need to click on the dist folder. Then you will see Give Me Badge.exe. Just click on that exe. Then just click on this nice, beautiful download button, and we will download this exe. Then what we need to do is just open up that exe, and Windows is going to say, Oh, we protect your PC or whatever. This is just because the exe isn't signed. That's just some nerdy science man stuff. Stuff, we're just going to click more info and click run anyways. Now it's going to pop up with command prompt and it's going to say, hey, welcome to active blah, blah, blah. Please enter your token under to continue. What we need to do is just go back to this Discord uh, developer page. We need to click on reset token, click on yes, do it. Then you might need to enter a two-factor authentication code. Then once you do that, you will get this token here. Now this is really important actually. When you have this Discord token, once you're done going through whatever process you do and you get the badge, please click reset token just so you won't have to deal with any weird stuff and people stealing your token. Anyways, click on copy, then go back to your command prompt page and just right click to paste and press enter. Then it's going to do all this stuff, blah, blah, blah. Then it'll tell you to use this URL to invite to your server. So you just want to copy this whole URL. And now to copy in command prompt, all you need to do is select it, then press enter and that will copy it. It's a little weird, but it, you know, you'll get used to it. Then you just paste it into any web browser and kaboom. Now you just need to add the bot to your server. I am human. And now it's author. If I go back to Discord, the bot's now in the server, and all you need to do is just do slash and then hello, and it'll say, says hello or something, press enter, press enter, and the bot will send, hi, no text-to-speech, thank you for saying hello to me. Now this is important. You actually don't need an alt account for this. Once you enter in this slash command, what you need to do is go back to this little command prompt thing and just close the exe so it's all closed, but what is very important is you want to go back to your developer portal and you want to click on reset token and click yes do it. Then once you do that, you will have to wait 24 hours for Discord to register what's going on with your bot because if you go to the fourth link, not the third link, but the fourth link, just because we have that mobile thing, go to the fourth link in the description and you should see active developer badge. You just need to refresh this page after 24 hours and then you have to go through this application process. It's very straightforward. Just select your server, select the channel, easy, click next, and you should have the badge. Now, this is really important, especially if you're just watching this the second the video came out. Unfortunately, the, the Discord developers had a little whoopsies, and it seems like that you won't be able to get your badge until Tuesday, so November 15th. So if you do this right now, just set like a calendar event for like Tuesday afternoon or maybe Wednesday, and then just go back to the fourth link in the description, and you should see the application. And that's it for the people on desktop, so bye-bye uh, Windows gamers. I love you. Mwah, mwah. All right, so if you're here, you're probably on mobile, or maybe you don't have a Windows computer that can run that exe. Well, we need to go to the third link in the description. So the third link, make sure it's the third link, and you'll have a page that looks like this. And what we're doing is basically just putting our bot into a website. It's going to run our bot for a little bit. We run our commands, and then we're good to go. So we already created that Discord server and stuff, so we're already good to go. So click on Next. And what we want to do is we just want to open this in a new tab, this page here. It'll be the Discord developer portal. You want to go to the bot that you created. Now, just keep in mind, the process is 
exactly the same on mobile. I'm just doing it on my Windows computer because it, it's just easier to record, okay? But it's literally just open this between two tabs on your phone. What you need to do is you just need to go to your bot, go to application ID and copy it and paste that in and then paste in your public key. Then once you do that, click on next. And what we need to do is we need to copy this link here and paste it into the interactions endpoint URL. I know it sounds like we're actually coding, even though we're not. Then once you do that, click on next and we need to go to the OAuth tab. So we need to click on the little hamburger menu, click on OAuth 2, and then you will see this client secret thing. We want to reset our secret, click yes, do it, enter in your two-factor authentication code. And once you do that, you want to copy your client secret. You want to paste it into the website and click next. Then you just need to open this link in a new tab and it will be an invite link for the bot to join your server. So it's the same as always. Make sure you invite it to your badge bot server, click on authorize. Then all you need to do is just go onto your server and you want to do slash and we just need to do slash finish then press enter and press enter then it'll say hi there now that a command has been ran you can click on this link here which will be the fourth link in the description but when you open up this link it will take you to this little page here the active developer badge now the thing with this page is that it takes discord 24 hours for them to update whether or not your bot ran a slash command so you will need to wait 24 hours if you're watching this video the second it came out or a couple days after it came out just keep in mind there's a bug going on where it might not update and you might have to wait until november 16th so or November 15th, November 16th. And once you do that, you just need to go through this application process. It's really straightforward. Just select your server, select the channel, then click authorize, and then kaboom, you have a badge. Now, the thing with mobile is that you actually can't see the badge. So you might have to ask your friends who are on desktop. It's a little weird. Now, once you redeem your badge, there's something really important that I want you to do. I want you to go back to the Discord developer portal and go back to this OAuth 2 screen. And I just want you to reset your client secret one more time. This is just so everything is completely good and your secret is secured. And once you reset it, then guess what? You are good to go. I love you. Mwah, mwah.